Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly crafting, cooking, and organic gardening videos right here on my YouTube channel. In this week's video, I'm going to walk you through how I'm teaching my three-year-old son to use his first sewing machine. So first, a little bit of a disclaimer. I don't recommend that you start teaching a young child to sew just based on their age, okay? My son is only three, but he's very careful and very meticulous in everything that he does, so I, as a parent, have made the decision that I think it's okay for me to teach him how to use his own sewing machine. So know your child and only teach them how to use a sewing machine when you think they're ready. A note on safety, and this is just what I've decided to do as a parent teaching my son how to use a sewing machine. For Christmas this year, he asked for his own sewing machine, so that's what I got him, and I wanted to buy him a real one, something that he can grow with and can learn with, okay? So this is not one of those kitty sewing machines that you see in the toy store. It's a real one with different kinds of stitches and buttonholes and the whole nine. Then, when we're sewing, I also have him use real sewing pins and a real pair of scissors. I know they're sharp and some people frown on that, but what I find that that does with my son when I'm teaching him is that he understands the risk involved, okay? He respects the items, he appreciates the risk, and he's more careful when he's using them because he sees this is what my mom uses, she doesn't cut herself, well, let me follow what she's doing so I can do it correctly as well and I can learn how to use the things, okay? So as a parent, feel free to make that decision on your own, whether you choose the same route or you just wanna use more child safe or child appropriate items. So let me start off by giving you three quick tips of things I like to incorporate in my sewing sessions when I'm teaching my son. The first one is to keep the session short. Young children don't have that long of an attention span and my son's only three so I definitely don't want to burn him out or get him too bored with the machine so I keep my sessions with him to no longer than five maybe ten minutes at the most. Now the second tip is to speak the sewing terminology. Every step of the way, I'm pointing out something on the machine, mentioning its name, presser foot, needle, sewing, pins, scissors, thread. You know, throw out the words there so they can pick it up and start learning everything there is to know about working on their own sewing projects. And the third tip is to let the child do what they can. With my son, I go through the first time, I show him how everything works and where everything goes, and then after that, I just let him do it himself. If he can't do it or he gets stuck, then he'll ask me for help and I'll jump in and help him. Otherwise, I let him do simple tasks and things that I know he can do. So now I'll leave you with the video of me teaching my son how to use his sewing machine. This is only his third sewing lesson. And if you have any questions of anything you see in the video, feel free to drop me a question underneath this video here on YouTube. Take notes, get some ideas, I hope you get some inspiration from it, and that you'll take the step to teach a child in your life how to use a sewing machine. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye! Hi, and was my a big my big sister mama here we do our another project and we know how to sew everything. So can you tell your camera friends what do you need to start sewing with your first sewing project? What do you need first? What is that big machine there? The, my sewing machine for Christmas. Well let's tell our camera friends the supplies that we need. Can you tell me what is in front of you there? Okay. I got um, bobbins, what else? bobinas. That's right, bobbins, bobinas. Those thread and those needles. Okay, and what else do we have there? And we got scissors. And? Those are, um, um, those are needles, no, those are pins. So the, what's the first thing we need to do with our sewing machine to start sewing? We got to put thread up there, right? Okay, let me get some thread. That one, work, that one. You love that color, and what color is that? Purple Moana. So how do we put the thread on your sewing machine, John? Thread spool. Okay, and you pull it back. Perfect. Don't break it, right? Good job. Okay, so let me thread it for you. Okay. So we can show them how we wind a bobbin. Okay. I'm going to put the thread here. Where's the bobbin? Can you get me a bobbin? Okay, go get your bobbin right away. Okay, great. That's a bobbin. That one? And let's put it up here on the bobbin winder. That bobbin bobbin okay. winder. So put the bobbin on there, pop it on there, and squish it all the way flat down. Ugh. Good job. So where do we have to put the bobina now? Bobina case. That's right, the bobina case. So let's get your new bobbin, the purple one, right? And put it in there. Good job. And now I'm going to show you here. This thread needs to go through here. 
you're gonna put it right through there until we hear it snap like that okay yeah. and remember I put this little handle has to match up where in there okay until we hear it snap right Push it. like that okay now we have a thread coming down here do we have thread in this needle yet we got to put thread there too, okay? Close it up, put on the front part. Good job. And now we are now to sew. So let's get our fabric. So what I have here is just a piece of muslin and I just took one of his markers and drew some straight lines on it and then I have him try and follow these lines stitching straight. They're not going to be perfect at the beginning of course and just the more practice they get in the better I think. Okay, so we're ready to start sewing. Where are you going to put your fabric? I uh, wait here. Okay, what's the next step after we have our fabric in place? Okay, friends, I said we pick the Plus a butt down. Perfect. And we, we turn this, this thing on. Okay. And then we keep sewing. Go for it. And where are you putting your fingers at? Way with Polly outside. Far away. I guess right outside. Just like outside, far away? Yeah. You're keeping your fingers far away from what part of the sewing machine? Yeah, because what can happen if that needle gets your finger? It can sew ourselves. Okay. And blood going to drip out. And blood going to drip out. Okay, you're right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, no. I need some. Oh, you want me to put some pins? Yeah. Okay, let's put a few pins right here for you. So let's select our straight stitch first. Which one is the straight one? Let's turn it and put it on number two. Oh, the teeny tiny mark. Okay, and let's put our pins on this side so you can take them off and put them here. And I think you're ready to start sewing, huh? Yeah. Those fingers back. Stop, stop. Good job. Now we keep sewing. What's the first thing you do when you stop sewing now? Pick the puzzle bit up. Okay. Can I put through? Here with the best stitch I did. I do a pull my way on. Um, push the blue line. I know how to do everything. You know how to do everything. You still got a lot of practice to do, right? Okay. okay say bye to your camera, friends. Okay, I'll see you next time for CoffeeJamma.com with me. Bye-bye. That was awesome! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to race with my car. Okay, now you can go race with your car. I can go watch me. Yeah, I can watch you.